Swoosh. What's up, nerdlings? We have a box. What kind of box? A Wizarding World crate box. Do you, nerd? All right, Lady Lacey, what is the theme of this one? This one is Dumbledore's Army. Okay. We're stronger together. Team up and join the fight against the dark arts in this Wizarding World crate. Yeah. <laughs> now. This seems very familiar to me. It does. Feels... I thought maybe it was because of the Room of Requirement theme. Maybe, but I don't know. I feel like there was a theme already of Dumbledore's Army, but I don't know. Maybe not. All right. Well, maybe let's, something close. Let's see if we get a double yep. box then. We got a box. A box and a box. <laughs> well, I certainly never would have expected this. You, uh, you got your little legs there. Look, there's not another one in there. So you only get one side, and then each house... Gets their own bean bag. Gets their own bean bag. That's... That's a mighty fine cornhole. <laughs> it's rather odd. Why is there only one? I guess you just have to share. You gotta share your cornhole. <laughs> is that really the message we want to send here? When you have a variety of bean bags, putting them all into one cornhole. Make sure you get one from every house. Well. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Hey. We're off to an interesting start. <laughs> a house points for ingenuity. I never would have guessed to put something like this into well, the box. Well, I mean, aside from what it is, we can look at the fact that, you know, you've got a nice Death Eater on the front and you're obviously aiming for his chest for maximum woundage. Right. I just mean, you know, <laughs> it's not a display piece. It's not necessarily like a functional piece, like a stationary or anything. It's just, uh, it's a fun piece. Yeah, which it's a game. Which you don't generally get that. So, all right. Yeah, hey, neat. Fun times. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Okay, Lawrence. All right. We have a hat. You have friends here. You are not alone. And then the houses on the brim here. It yeah, I'd almost, actually wear that on a t-shirt. It almost has like a, a retro vibe. Maybe it's just because of the, you know, the standard colors there. And then on the back is a Hufflepuff. Very interesting. Not quite the hat person, but uh, I have been known to wear one at the pool every now and again. I'm not a fan of the flat brim. Sorry if you are, but I'm from a different era where we curved our brims. You kind of look like Gomer Pyle. Go away! <laughs> Does anybody Watch know? out for them Death Eaters! Shazam! Shazam! <laughs> I was going to say, does anybody know who Gomer Pyle is out there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> when you get some kind of clothing though, that's not socks. Yes, and it's it not is a something shirt. different. I can honestly say, I don't think I've gotten too many, like, ball caps. Gosh! My... <laughs> I've gotten stocking caps before, but uh, never really a ball cap. So that's that's a, that's a different one. Shazam! Shazam! We've got a proud member of Dumbledore's army, and at first glance it looks like he's on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does. <laughs> it? <laughs> Get your death eater running. But it's a very thin graph paper notebook. Well, and it's faux leather. When you've had one of your classes with the Dumbledore Army, the room of requirement, take your notes. Best way to get your bean bags in a cornhole. That's your tips right there. Oh my, my, my. Just the tip? Just the tip. Start at the crack. Let's make this as bad as we possibly it's like can. We have to put such a disclaimer on this one before it even comes out. He started it. <laughs> we got our button. Okay. Last few have been uh, the buildings. Mm -hmm. Build that nice cityscape. So I'm I'm hoping for another one. I'd like to what see building? how how long. Ooh. Not that it has anything to do with Dumbledore's army, but we haven't gotten a Gringotts Bank yet. 
Have we that'd, not? That'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah. Or just the door to the room of requirements. That would have been a good one for the, doors. the room of requirements box we had. Ladies and gentlemen, the doors. Okay, ready? We got Hogshead Tavern. Hey, that works. That's a good one. We've actually dined at Hogshead Tavern. We have. We've had some mead there. It was pretty good. I like it. It's a good one. Although uh, this pin, I mean. It's a little plain. Yeah, cool Hogshead Tavern, but kind of a plain pin. Then again, as we line them up with the other ones, it might be a little more fun then. <laughs> okay, we got a puzzle. Okay. A thousand piece puzzle. I'm going to sit down and count every single piece before I start to make sure they're all there. This kind of makes me think of that like labyrinth puzzle picture. That one where the stairs are going up and down. And going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the sideways stairs. Who's your favorite MC? Escher. Mm. MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Okay. This might be a little difficult to put together though. This because be... it has a very small color scheme and repeating pattern. Yeah. So this could be oh, this could be tricky. tricky. Mm -hmm. No magic. That's cheating. But it does have all the houses represented, which is nice. It could be an interesting puzzle. You gotta put it together muggle style. No cheating with magic. Oh. No spells. And the last thing in the box is a t-shirt. Oh, so they doubled up on the clothing. Got two wearables. So this one says, Dumbledore's Army. Reducto, stupefy, expecto, patronum. We are only as strong as we are united. Well, while you're trying that on, if you need to find me, I'll just be down at the tavern. The Hogshead, who's coming with me to the tavern. I've had enough butterbeer. You've had enough butterbeer. Watch it, Gomer Pile. <laughs> all right, so first of all, when I look at this shirt, I do not think Harry Potter. This design, I am full on getting a Tron feel from it. Could be the door. Maybe it's just <laughs> the combination of colors, the way that they're splashed yeah. on there. But I would, if I saw you from across the room, I would think Tron before Harry Potter. <laughs> now it is a black shirt. You're not mm -hmm. always a fan of those just because, uh, you know, color fade, a lot warmer in the summer, yeah. stuff like that. Plus. You get enough of these boxes and you've got yeah, probably a hundred <laughs> of the same color shirt, but it does have all the extra colors it on does. the front. It does. It's not it just helps, a solid color. It helps make the colors pop too. And so. how does it feel? It's a very bland fabric. It's not your soft, nice soft cotton. It's definitely is some kind of other cotton blend. And the print itself, good solid print or has it got some give to it? A little give. It's a, it's a paint on. Kind. So do you think that might start to crack down the it way? It might, yeah, depending on how many times you wash it and everything. Okay. But I also feel like maybe this fabric might maybe lighten up a little after it's gone through the washer. It's just kind of that like stiff kind of scratchy. That brand new. Yeah. Okay. But it's still not, I mean, I put on some shirts that it's like, oh, this is a nice shirt. I'm not saying it's not a nice shirt, just like this nice feeling. And the last thing to always check is the box itself. Anything fun in there? Just a list. People who signed their names at Hogshead to join Dumbledore's army. None too exciting. Well, at least it fits the theme. It does fit the theme. Okay, you've got the pamphlet, everything, everything made it. Everything is here. We're not waiting on anything. Nope. Okay. Quality of items? They actually seem pretty decent quality. Pretty good quality. So yeah, I mean, good quality there. Small stationary. It's not the the number one thing in the box. They yeah. they went low key with that. Made plenty of room for the puzzle, the cornhole game, hat, and a shirt. I mean, these are higher end items. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, I feel like you would get a hat or shirt, not yeah, both. Yeah, not both. Yeah. And then the fact that you get kind of two games. That's uh, that's interesting. That's fun though. I like that. The theme though. I'm not so sure about that. That one they, seems a little weird. They doubled up on this whole like Death Eater dummy thing that they use in the Room of Requirements. Um, honestly, this feels more Room of Requirement than Dumbledore's Army. Maybe that's why I thought they were repeating the theme. I don't get the puzzle at all. I don't see how the puzzle fits in at all other than the fact that it's got the different houses on it because it doesn't even look like the Room of Requirement. 
And last, this one was a little bit late. A little bit late. This one was maybe a month late. Maybe a little shy of a month. But yeah, okay. we, they gave us an email notice a little ways back that this month, this crate would be a little late. So I think it's about a month. But they did let you know. They did let us this know ahead of time, you know. which That's was good. nice. Okay. Yeah. So, theme was off. Quality's on par. Items are weird and a month late. Would you subscribe to this again if this was the only one you got? If, no, this is not. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I don't care for this box. The items are great items, but I, I will have to say I'm not really impressed with any of the items that are in here. They're cool items, but like if this were the first crate I ever got, I'd have been like, oh, this is what to expect from Wizarding World? Uh-uh. Fair enough. All right. Well, <laughs> unless you have any final thoughts, turn it over to the Nerdlings. Leave some comments down below on what you thought of any of this. Uh, if you're going to put your bean bags in the cornhole. And uh, if you want to do a puzzle, write down any any tips and secrets for you know doing the puzzle. Maybe counterclockwise, always. How does he look in a hat? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> give the video a like if you happen to like it. Notification bell. Subscribe if you'd like. Maybe the next box winner over a little more might even be on time. Who knows? Who knows? I will say this though: they have more good boxes than bad ones. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to T Public. Go over to Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it for wizards and their cornholes. <laughs> with the cornholes. Gosh! <laughs> Fine earthlings. A white box. Made in China. What a magical place. It makes lots of things. All right. District Attorney's Office. <laughs> the District Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought joining the DA club was gonna be a lot more fun, like Dumbledore's Army. No. You don't have to keep dancing like you're from the 1920s. Why not? <laughs> Charleston, Charleston, everybody loves Charleston. He does, she does. Do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> wand at the ready. I don't know what one hand I am. Pull a memory out. Now. Now you're Luna. You're, you're having fun. You got just a little buddy. Oh, look. It's hopping around. Can't juggle. <laughs>